Great writers thank their lucky stars. At the Dramatist Guild Fund Benefit, that's called Exactly That. We're here at Gotham Hall for all the starry action. You're hosting tonight, aren't you? Yeah, it's just reading cards and and just trying to be somewhat articulate in a very big bouncy echoey room that's it that's what hosting is I, I love this event this is such a cool event because it's all about like writers and stars like you know, writers and stars yeah, 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 yeah. yeah writers and stars <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly no yes we're very very excited to be here to be re repping the repping the sort of new what's next of it all and when you have like when you have Paul with the microphone you know it's legit so we feel really uh, legit that we're yeah. all here right now with you broadway.com yeah. broadway.com mess around yeah this is a really cool event I love this benefit every every year well Andrew Lippa is not only a dear buddy he's also the new president of the Dramatist Guild Fund so I'm thrilled to be able to uh, to be here tell everyone all, all these Broadway fans watching this what, what what is the Dramatist Guild Fund well the Dramatist Guild Fund is a very simple thing to explain we are the arm of the Dramatist Guild that helps writers financially the fund does all of these things for writers but you know emergency grants we give grants to theaters all over the country we have traveling masters program we have a fellows program and the whole idea is we're really trying to nurture playwrights dramatists at every step of their careers I hear you were uh, you're thanking lucky stars uh, this is an idea that uh, Gretchen Cryer came up with a few years ago as a, a fundraiser obviously a benefit uh, for the fund and it's turned out to just be one of the most entertaining nights of the year like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood who can say if I've been changed for the better but because I knew you yeah, Kristen Chenoweth was in a little show you wrote called uh, Wicked. Not too many people know it, but she was excellent in it for those who don't know. I do believe I have been changed for the better. Tonight is all about writers sort of honoring their stars who bring their shows to life. And look, you guys wrote a show, this guy's bringing it to life, right? Yeah, we're doing an opposite thing where Ben is like sort of thanking us. <laughs> we're sort of flipping the night on. I was just going to say, I, I, the only thing that I have to add to anything is that Sheldon Harnick is literally right behind us. So, um, yeah, just take that in, guys. What is it like as a writer when you find those performers who embody your, your work so beautifully? Like, it must just be the best feeling. Well, one thing, you want to adopt them and make them yours. You want to lock them up in a room and only let them perform your work. But the answer to your question, of course, is you treasure performers who really understand the lyric and know how to project it. If I were a rich man, all day long I did it with the bum. If I were a wealthy man, on the outside always looking in, will I? Ever be more than I've always been Cause I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass I'm waving through a window Oh, I try to speak but nobody can hear So I wait around for an answer to appear While I'm watch, watch, watching people pass and You're singing a really awesome song tonight, aren't you? Well, we're doing the song of Purple Summer, which sort of Spring Awakening. You know, Spring Awakening, that thing and that thing again. <laughs> um, we're just, we're honored to be here for Steven and we're honored to be here because the show meant so much to us and still does. So. And I think that, isn't that your group? You should go take a photo. Take, take a photo. sit and you write these, you write shows together with just the two of you and then you find these people, right? And you start sort of writing for them and being inspired by them. What's that relationship like? 
I think that's the best part of doing theater in particular and musical theater even more particularly because you, your stuff gets just taken to the next level by the incredible talented people that you get to work with. My favorite part is when we are guessing wrong and we say, oh, this is the high note and your person's like, I can sing fourth above that shit and they do and it blows your mind. Or when you try to give like Mo Rocca a line reading about how to get a punchline, he's like, no, no, no. Here's how I'm going to say the line. Yeah. At a brunch with your ex when she brags about sex and all the rich men she has blown. You want to stuff her face with a fat free scone. Instead, you look at your phone. Oh, let's all look at our phones. Let's all look at our phones. I don't feel so alone when I look at my phone.